it's about time. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, Kanye was on Drink Champs, and he did not hold back. So one thing that he talked about is versus would he go against Drake? Would he go against Jay-Z? Would you step into that ring? Oh, absolutely. But I would need about like four people at, to go against me at one time. <laughs> you know you know what the people are going to say. There's only two people really out there. It'd be Drake, right? And Hope, that's yeah, probably that's, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. think about that one. You, I like you that. Like, you, yeah. you would go against Jay? Nah, because that's my boss. I would never go against you. I don't like that answer. But yeah. what you saying, when you and Drake together, who's winning that? I'm winning every situation. That's why it's like... It'd be tough. It'd be tough for uh, it'd be tough for Drake in a twenty song versus uh versus Jay. But then it would turn into like a generational thing too, right? Because like the past ten years, you know, Drake been running things. But you can't front on Kanye West's catalog. Them first five albums are classics. All right. In addition to that, he talked about Drake and how it is like beefing with Drake. Drake don't do a diss like an outright diss song where it's a headshot. He's gonna set it up like war. He gonna do stuff like live five blocks down the street from you. They're gonna like go and DM every single girl in your family, every single girl around your family, everybody, every, all your d- girl, da 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 da, he's gonna. Really? So, so, this is professional rap, but it's all psychological, right? So it's like, what button is someone gonna hit? I bit his ear. That. They ain't see what Holyfield was doing. Tyson like telling the refs like, yo, you ain't see this? He's like, Tyson, I'm gonna just take this in my own hands. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood why Kanye thought uh, Drake moved into that neighborhood because he was playing psychological warfare with Kanye. Yeah, that's what I he, don't know. He might know more than felt. we do. Who yeah, knows? But when they first, it's, 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 I've been there. It's a nice neighborhood. <laughs> it's like private. That's where a lot of celebrities live back there. And remember, they used to call it the new Abu Dhabi or something crazy like mm-hmm. that. Him and Drake. Well, he also has an issue, and they they have some really deep personal issues with Drake, Drake acting yeah. like he had uh, sex with Kim. I had this conversation where Drake is like, you know, I never f- him. But I was like, but you acted like you did. You got bars that's like hidden hills, give your wife the chills. You doing all kind of, it's like somebody throwing a marble and hiding their hand or something like that. It's like you had all that's disrespectful. Y'all actually had this conversation. Oh, we had this conversation. And this is all, and to the point where Kim be like, I don't listen to this f- no more. This f- acting like he f-. But what about all the, did you ever DM her? Did you ever, you know what I'm saying? Everything else around it. Mm. Like I said, it's deep, so we don't know what else uh, goes on behind the scenes with them. Now, in addition to that, he talked about this group chat that he had because of the song uh, Sicko Mode, it w- and Drake was included in this group text. The rumor is that Drake kind of took a shot at you on that song, but Travis Scott was on that same song. Did, did yeah, it ever I put, put a put, strenuous relationship Oh, yeah, I put Travis? everybody on a group text. It was Jay-Z, Kim <laughs> Kardashian. <laughs> Jay-Z uh, got nothing to do with this, by the way. You, no, you he's on there. the song. Jay-Z's on with, He didn't know when he did the song that me and Drake had a problem. So after it came out, he's not in it. That's what he said. I did, I did it before the fact. And I'm talking all these things. Kid Cudi, Pusha, Drake, Jay-Z... Kim and Traff. Uh, one of the lines I said that was legend is I said, I'm worth more than all of y'all on this text combined. Soon as I start dropping bars, mm-hmm. oh my God, he's in the episode. Oh my God, he need to go to the hospital. Oh my God. I don't understand that either though, because he starts off the interview talking about classism and how we got to get rid of classism and you know, everything isn't about money and blah, 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 but then that's your flex. You flex on people by saying you're rich and you know, He has a lot of big money talk on, on, on this interview. Yeah, but I don't, that's, I don't understand. Because literally in one breath he's saying, you know, Get rid of classism and yada, yada, yada. And that's why he designed for the gap and all that, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, now in addition to that, he discussed cancel culture because he got a lot of criticism for bringing Marilyn Manson and the baby out at the Donda album listening events and inviting Marilyn Manson to worship alongside him at a Sunday service event. All the, like, me too, like when I sit next to... Marilyn Manson and the baby right after both of them got canceled for five songs. Right. It's like they can't cancel us all. Yeah, hit you with like an accusation or somebody that you was with, you know, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then also it's like, there's women who have been through really serious things mm-hmm. against their will. That's different than a hug. Right. But it's classified as the same, the same. thing. How you feel about cancel? Oh, man, I love it. I'm above it. They try to cancel you like 15 times. (laughs) That's it. I'm loving it. I'm above (laughs) it. 
I mean, Marilyn Manson, by the way, is facing four lawsuits for sexual assault. He's been accused of a lot of really serious things. So it wasn't just a just the FYI. Now, he also talked about still being married to Kim Kardashian. They SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off. And I ain't never even seen the papers. We never even divorced. That ain't no joke to me. Well, my my kids shit. want their parents to stay together. I want us to be together. Mm-hmm. And he had some shots for Big Sean and John Legend, even though they were super successful, uh, having been signed to good music. Here's what he had to say. When I die on my tombstone, it's going to say, I deserve to be here because I signed Big Sean. The shot. worst thing I've ever done was sign Big Sean. Man, I know this man mama, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've changed this man's family. And both John Legend and Big Sean, when I ran for office, got used quick, by the Democrats to come at they boy that actually changed their life. And that's some sellout shit. And I don't rock with neither of them. And, they, and I, need, I need my apologies. Wow, well, Big Sean went on Twitter and said, I just got asked to be on the next Drink Champ, so I'm assuming Ye talking crazy. And then he put a bunch of laughing emojis, and then he said, was just with this man. He ain't saying none of that. And this was after the interview. I'm dying laughing at you, Kanye West. I can't wait to go on Drink Champs now. I ain't gonna front. I understand what Ye, what Ye means by that. I don't, because I don't remember when Sean came at him. And, I, and, no, if they did come, if they did come at him, but if if I what does he call coming? What does he call coming at him? If I change your life and I do something that you think is stupid, you check me personally, not publicly. But the thing is well, that when people saying. ask you, you know in public mean? questions, because they, I don't know that people they just, just don't say nothing negative. If, if I, I mean, if I don't, life, know, it don't mean you don't like someone as a person just because you don't agree with their political beliefs. Though I do want to say that you're allowed to disagree with somebody's beliefs and yeah, still you, say, you, and still you be disagree. respectful. You could disagree, but if you do disagree and it's something negative, just say it to me. Don't say it publicly. Say it personally. In my opinion, if that's my guy, if that's somebody I changed their life, if I change the way you look on everything, and I'm not saying that I don't know the. the I don't think they've out, ever been disrespectful about Kanye. Though. He just said they were. I don't know. I mean, I've seen what they've said publicly, and I didn't see it as being. But he took it that way. Well, yeah, he said they. But did, you but, know you. I mean, and maybe just, he does. And then remember, there was that whole thing where he owes Big Sean money and all of that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a different guy. Mm. If if somebody looks out for me, changed my life, and I don't like what they do, I'm not gonna say it publicly. I'll say it to their face. You know, but You're I'm not, not gonna, I'm not gonna go against them. Is it You're interesting that he was just with Big Sean and didn't say any of that to him? Isn't that doing the same thing? That's Kanye though. Here's some more things that were said. He did address Charlemagne, who loves him, but also did interview Joe Biden. Like Charlemagne loved me. But he had to, you know, put Biden on the thing. And you know, think about this happened when Biden, remember he said, Charlemagne, if you didn't vote for me, then you're not you black. Not black you know? Well, you know, that showed you? That showed you how comfortable he was and how much they talked before that. Mm -hmm. And you know what must have happened afterwards? They got in the room like, y'all the f up! <laughs> 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 I ain't supposed to be showing that y'all like that, that y'all like that, John Legend, Sean. This is from 1984, bro. This is mind control. Yeah, if you do have love for Kanye, you got to love him from a distance because of that type of delusion and lack of self-awareness to his own BS. Like, Kanye West cannot talk about anyone being close to any political figure when we watched him bust it open for Trump in the over office, or over office, all right? Kanye was popping it on a handstand for Trump, all right? And by the way, that's the one and only time I've ever spoken to Joe Biden in my life. But Kanye, like I said, he has zero room to talk. He was hugging Trump and calling Trump a father figure and said that, that white man made him feel like Superman. Wasn't All you right? going to be Kanye's secretary of defense? That was never happening. But, you know, if you want to keep saying that and let people... If you want to flash back to cool. when Kanye was in the Oval Office. You know, they tried to scare me to not wear this hat. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. Oh, I love you. I know. Did, did I, did but I, I don't want to take... I don't want to put you in that spot. But. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm standing in that spot. I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy a hug right here. And didn't he say you can't show people that you're so close to <laughs> a political figure? That's why you just got to send Kanye healing energy, man. Yeah, well. Because he's going to be apologizing. Everybody he talked about in this interview, he's going to be apologizing to. All right, including Just Blaze. Now, Just Blaze responded to some comments that Kanye made on Drink Champs. Swiss Beats or Just Blaze? Well, Swiss Beats definitely because Just Blaze is a copycat. You know, he get credit for the blueprint, and I did the first half of the blueprint, and he just copied my half. Highly. And got do I mean, look. Look where I'm at today. Look where he at today. I'm not going to lie, that's the most egregious thing he said in that interview to me. <laughs> that is, okay. I, I highly disagree. Can we be honest? All the records that Just Blaze produced, he sounds nothing like Kanye. At Just all. Just Blaze has his own sound. Just Blaze don't sound like you nobody. Don't know 
Well, here's what Jess Blaze had to say. He said, well, that was unfortunate. I'm only addressing this publicly because it was stated publicly. I'm not here for the mudslinging. I'm just a bit confused and disappointed. None of what was said tonight regarding me fits with any of our history or our previous interactions, particularly in light of very recent attempts to work together again. Through recent years, he has reached out to collaborate on various projects, including a much rumored collaborative project that he was looking for me to handle a good amount of. It unfortunately never saw the light of day due to reasons unrelated to me. Most recently, a couple of months back, I woke up to a literal red alert from his people that he was looking for me for his last album in the 11th hour. We tried to pull something off, but it was way too last minute. And he said, regarding that one comment, respectfully, I'm happy for him and the fact that he has succeeded in the ways he wanted to, but not everyone wants to be where he is. Everyone's definition of personal success is a bit different. I'm quite happy where I am creatively with my family and my life in general. That's what I was going to say. Just because he has money doesn't mean he's happy. Just Blaze might be the happiest guy in the world. So Just Blaze is happy with And by the way, Just Blaze still has money. But also, too, Kanye West and Just Blaze were equally important to the classic that is the blueprint. You yes. don't get a blueprint without Just Blaze and Kanye West, and neither one of their sounds sound alike at all. So I don't, I don't know, know what where the hell that came from. Not I know. I know Just Blaze was like, "What the hell?" Yeah, that was Just minding my no, business. That was the most egregious thing he said. That whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Goodness telling gracious. you, like what? I've heard Just Blaze copied, but I've never heard Just Blaze copy. No. No, All right, now let's discuss new music. Summer Walker's album, Still Over It, is out. Now, the song Bitter, which is narrated by Cardi B, evokes some responses from uh, from London on the Tracks children's mother, Ebony. She says that she likes the song Bitter, but she's not happy about Cardi B narrating it. She posted, Summer, I like the song. Y'all don't got to tag me no more. It's cool. Go stream that. It's the first song on the album, Bitter. Cardi B, on the other hand, you a lame. And so she wasn't happy about, I guess, Cardi narrating on the album. Listen to that song. Lord have mercy. It's going to be a sad weekend in New York. I cannot wait. You know, I was already listening to her album on my way into work this morning. But unfortunately, I only have a 15 minute, well, fortunately, I only have a 15 minute ride. So I don't get to hear everything. But, you know, I got to hear Sierra's Prayer. She got a song called Toxic with Lil Dirk. That right there with Pharrell and the Neptunes. Screwing with Omarion. Unloyal with Ari Lennox. Constant BS. Okay, Switch it and we're out. Reciprocate. You don't know me. Ladies, don't be picking Throw it away. Ladies. No love featuring Scissor. Ladies, don't be picking arguments with your man all weekend just so you can get into an argument and Broken then throw on promises. Summer Walker. All right. And I that already know that's a good one. Don't be like that. <laughs> all right. Key Glock has a new album out, Yellow Tape 2. All right, and so a lot of new music out, as you know, because it is Friday, so enjoy. Drake put out a new video for Knife Talk featuring 21 Savage and Project Pat. Um, other new music, Post Malone featuring The Weeknd, One Right Now, Bobby Shmurda, Splash, Annerly Chopper featuring Polo G, Jumpin', French verse, um, featuring Fabio Foreign, Panicking. So a lot of new music on this Friday. All right, that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, uh, when we come back, of course, we got the People's Choice Mix. We throw it back on a Friday. So let me know what you want to hear. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 